Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is already September so I figured it would be high time to give you an update on how I've been doing with my language goals for this summer. I can already say very briefly that I didn't do great this summer but I don't know, I still am happy with the things that I did do. I just really underestimated how busy I would be this summer. I don't know, I always think that I'm gonna have so much time during the summer to do so many things I want to do but in the end there's just a lot of I don't know, important stuff that I don't get around to doing throughout the year that I end up doing in the summer so they don't take up a lot of time and as you might be able to tell I have moved, I'm living somewhere else now, I moved into a little studio so I have my own kitchen and bathroom now, it's very nice but I did need a bit of work before I could move in. I needed to paint and I needed to install the flooring. So that took quite a while. I don't know, I've spent so many days painting because for some reason, I don't know, I just kept seeing like the blue that was underneath. I kept seeing it through the white that was trying to paint on it for some reason. So that took forever. And then I um, had to install the flooring and that wasn't necessarily difficult, but it was something I'd never done before. So I just took my time with it and I don't know, I just wanted to do it, like, I, di I didn't really want to make it into like a stressful situation, it was just a good learning opportunity and I did have the time to do it so I just figured um, I would take my time with it and I'm quite happy with the results, so yeah. And also something else that I spent a lot of time on this summer was decluttering. Um, I don't know, for a while now I've been really wanting to declutter. That was already like months ago back when I was still in London but most of my stuff was still at my parents' house so as soon as I got back I spent several weeks just going through my stuff and seeing which things I wanted to keep and which things I wanted to donate or sell and all that stuff so I got rid of quite a lot of stuff so I'm happy that I did that and I don't know, I just feel like my life like as a result my life is just more organised and I think that was also really good and I really needed that so I didn't spend as much time on language learning but I did do other things that just felt good so I don't really regret that I didn't do so much with languages but I'll still talk you through the things that I did do. So here I have my list of goals for the summer. I wanted to reach level 10 on Duolingo in Korean and I definitely reached that I think I might already be like at level like 11 or 12, I'm not sure anymore, but uh, I definitely reached level 10. That was, I think, one of the first goals I've reached. But I don't really feel like I've learned that much Korean from using Duolingo. Like, I just reached level 10 by practicing Hangul over and over, and I still don't really get it. So, I actually switched to Memrise. Um, I started a Memrise course just like the first official Korean course on Memrise and uh, so far I've enjoyed that a bit more because it's like really teaching me useful phrases and Duolingo is just teaching me random words like I can't remember like blue wings and I don't know and there was this one like brand name and I had never heard of it before and I assumed it was just like uh, a, brand, a car brand or something but it was apparently like an ice cream chain or something um, so yeah it was just a bit demotivating to learn all these terms that just didn't feel relevant to my life at all so I switched to Memrise and Memrise was just teaching me like the normal stuff um, like hello, welcome, thank you, goodbye, that kind of stuff so um, yeah I've been enjoying that a bit more and I think I'll continue with that one before I'll, con before I'll continue with Korean on Duolingo because yeah I don't know I, I just really want to learn Hangul first before I really continue and I just don't think Duolingo was really teaching me that in a very structured way. So my other Korean goal was to watch a Korean drama and I definitely I watched several <laughs> series on Netflix but I'm trying to remember what it's called something with spring in the title, I don't know. I just looked it up and I watched uh, One Spring Night, uh, the whole first season, and I also rewatched the first season of My First Love, and I don't know, what I just like about these series, I'm not saying that they're the best series ever, but they're just the kind of series that I can 
watch any time because other stuff that I like, like sci-fi is... I love watching sci-fi series but it's also sometimes too intense, like I can't really watch it after a really busy day or... yeah, I don't know, I just want something calm and with not a lot of suspense and drama, I just want something like happy and then I feel like Korean dramas, at least these kind of fulfill that role. So I've been really enjoying them and I do think I picked up a few words but I can't, I can't really like remember them but like not too many to be honest. It's just mostly I'm not necessarily watching these to actually improve my Korean. I think it's just uh, good to get an idea of what the language sounds like and also it's just a really a way to motivate myself. One of the reasons that I would like to learn Korean is so that I can at some point watch these series without subtitles so that's just a really good way to motivate myself so I do think it was a good goal for this summer even though it doesn't actually teach me that much. So then my goals for Swedish really didn't, didn't do great here. My first goal was to make two videos didn't make any videos that goes in Swedish and I don't really know why because I've made by now I've made several videos in Swedish so it's not that difficult anymore. I don't really know why I didn't do that. So I'm definitely gonna try to do one before the end of the year, but we'll see how it goes. Um my next goal was to write uh four pages in Swedish. Also didn't do that and that's something I really should do more often because I feel more confident now speaking Swedish but I don't know writing is more difficult because when I'm speaking I don't really care too much that I'm not being grammatically correct but when I write I don't know that's just more frustrating and I need to practice it more. Then my next goal was to um, do three chapters from my textbook Rivstadt um, and I didn't open my book at all so that didn't go great um, but I did accomplish my next goal which was to read a book in Swedish and I accomplished that within like the first week or so from when I made this list so that was really good um, really early on I accomplished that and I could have maybe read another book in Swedish but I don't know it just didn't happen this summer but yeah and then my last Swedish goal was to watch five episodes of like any show in Swedish. I think I watched one show at like one episode at the beginning of the summer but I can't even remember what I watched so I didn't actually accomplish that goal. I did watch quite a few YouTube videos in Swedish but yeah I don't know it's, it's interesting. I think that's also good though watching YouTube videos because generally uh, like TV shows are much easier to follow like the language is much clearer and I don't know the accents tend to be more similar but when I watch YouTube I do struggle a bit more with actually understanding people because the accents are so different so I do think it's good that I actually watch quite a bit of YouTube. I had three goals for Japanese uh, which were to read uh, to do five chapters from my Japanese textbook to read level 18 on Duolingo and to read like a very short kids book in Japanese and I didn't do I didn't reach any of these goals. Uh, I didn't really do much with Japanese in general I I think maybe like once did I go in Duolingo to do Japanese but I think that was all my Japanese practice for the summer. For French I did a bit better which I didn't actually expect that I would focus a bit more on French this summer but somehow that just happened. My first goal was to read a comic and I actually just, the comic that I planned to read, which was this one, uh, La Ligue des Voleurs, um, I only read this one this morning. I'd been really putting it off and I think just because I was kind of intimidating, uh, intimidated by it, but like it does look like a really cute story, the illustrations are really beautiful, so I figured before I would make this video I would just quickly try to read it because it isn't actually that long but I was just intimidated by it. So I read it this morning, um, I definitely like I had Google Translate open so that I could look up some words because I definitely didn't understand everything but it's, it's it was a really cute read, it's like a uh, it's about these group of kids that go to like a school where they learn how to be thieves and the main character she I don't know she seems it seems like she, she doesn't actually want to be a thief she kind of would rather go to a normal school but her parents won't let her um, and for most of the story I could like really understand what's going on only for when it came to like the details of 
um, when they were like infiltrating some place they like explained the plan and I couldn't quite understand it but I mean that's fine um, but yeah it's really enjoyable the ending was a bit I don't know abrupt because it didn't really seem like the main character was getting what she wanted but she was still happy I mean that's good for her but I didn't really understand that but um, I did see on Goodreads that this is like a first part so maybe there will be more comics in this series uh, I would definitely be interested in reading these because yeah it was a really cute story and as I said the uh, illustrations are really beautiful look at that yeah so I did only read that one this morning but I did read several things before that I have these wait where are they are they um, I have these like Disney book club or like oh Mickey book club books um, yeah I just picked these up at a second hand shop ages ago for like 50 cents a piece uh, and I had like five of them so far I think um, and this summer so far I read three so that was good reading practice I still have two left that I haven't read um, so I'm gonna try to read these and then I'll return them to the charity shop because yeah as I said like my main reason that I <laughs> read the other three wasn't actually to practice my French it was mostly that I was decluttering and I kind of wanted to return them to the second hand shop but I hadn't actually read them so I figured I should read them first and that actually motivated me to actually sit down and just read them and it just took me like two hours max I think but or like maybe an hour I can't remember but it wasn't actually that long so I should have done it before but yeah I finally got around to doing that so that was great. For French I also had a goal of watching a movie. I watched like half a movie. Um, I think I watched Samba. I think that's what it was called. It's like with one of the actors that also uh, played in The Untouchables which is one of my favourite movies so I think I should watch that one but uh, I don't know. The first half that I've seen wasn't super interesting and yeah I just never continued so I need to look up some other French movie which might interest me more I think is yeah I don't know it just wasn't super interesting and I wasn't really into it so I didn't actually watch a full film in French but at least I did watch like half of one I watched something I think that's already good I familiarized myself with the language again and I realized that this movie wasn't for me but that's fine I did also have a goal of making a video in French myself. That didn't happen. I didn't make any videos this summer in another language and I really should get around to doing that. I definitely have no excuse to not, for not making one in Swedish because I... I mean, my Swedish isn't great but it's okay enough. I feel that people might be able to understand me like I have no excuse for that one so definitely should get around to doing that. My last goal for French was to reach level 12 on Duolingo and I did reach that one so yeah. For my German goals I didn't do great. Um, my first goal was to reach level 15 on Duolingo and I didn't reach that. I'm still at level 14 and I can't remember where I was before the, end, before the beginning of the summer but I think I was still at level 14 so I don't think I progressed much but Ah, that's life I guess. I also wanted to read a book in German. I didn't actually read like a full-length novel but I did read a comic in German and I read it without like using a dictionary so that felt good at least and I did get some reading practice. I do hope to read a few German books, well at least one German book before the end of the year. I have a few I actually have only one here but yeah I hope to be reading that one soon. I also wanted to make a video in German and as I mentioned I didn't make any videos in other languages. I wanted to do two chapters of German Tutor and this should have been so easy but I just never opened a book. Um, yeah because I was busy I don't know it just didn't happen but I did take it with me when I moved here so I hope to do like to work in it like I don't know, sometime soon-ish. Then my last goal was to watch a German movie, also didn't do that one, so I didn't accomplish any of my German goals. I mean reading, sort of, but not actually. Uh, and then I had my fairies goals. I only had two goals, which was to complete the 
beginners course on fairiesonline.com and to start my travel journal and I did start my travel journal that wasn't like too difficult um, and I did incorporate some fairies words so that was good practice. I didn't actually finish the beginners course but I did do a bunch of other things with fairies. I I installed this app on my phone it's called beginner fairies I think and yeah you, you can just use it to learn vocabulary and I've almost finished the entire like vocabulary list I think like I learned 2000 something words um, I'm always at the end so I think I've been very consistent with using that app um, I would do it like bef before I we traveled to the Faroe Islands I would do it every day uh, when we were there I use it almost every day and afterwards I didn't use it every day but I've still been pretty consistent with it so that's something I feel very happy about. At the beginning of the summer I think it was after my language goals video but anyway at some point I did post a video where I spoke like a few sentences in Faroese and I talked a bit about like my learning strategy so far and I'm, I am really happy with that video because usually I feel too intimidated to speak in another language but I think because Faroese is really a language that isn't well known I feel like it's much easier to put myself out there and to just feel myself speaking that language whereas there's so many people that speak like French and German that I feel more conscious of making mistakes I guess so I'm really happy that I made that video I've also been watching some videos on YouTube in Faroese like I couldn't really follow all of it but I definitely recognized some words that was really cool I've been listening to a lot of Faroese songs uh, I definitely really like Faroese music there's so many cool songs out there when I was in the Faroe Islands I also got myself a textbook welcome in um, so I now actually have more material that I can use for studying. I'm really excited to get started with this one. I have like, I've read the first two chapters but I haven't really done like any exercise or really tried to um, write stuff or say stuff myself. But it, so far it's interesting. I'm really excited to be using this. Lastly, I had four miscellaneous goals and the only one from these that I accomplished was to reach level 8 on day, uh, eight in Danish on Duolingo and the main reason for that is that I realised when learning Faroese that I recognised certain words from Danish and also there were in the Faroe Islands there were lots of Danish tourists and like sometimes they would just talk to me assuming now it's also Danish and they would speak in Danish and I realised that I could actually um, understand what they were saying like not everything of course but just simple th things so I got really excited to learn Danish again so I did a bit, bit of Danish on Duolingo I'm still I don't know <laughs> I don't want to focus too much on Danish because I'm afraid I'll mix it up with either Swedish or Faroese but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen but that's just what I feel like but still I am really excited to continue Danish at some point but yeah this has kind of been my language learning over the summer as I said in the beginning I didn't really do as much as I'd planned but I had planned a lot and I don't know I kind of know that I always want too much I like too many languages and I'm not focused enough on one or two languages but I don't know I'm I'm not really disappointed to be honest I'm happy with the things I did and I just hope that throughout like because school is already starting again and I'm just hoping that I throughout the year I'll have more time for language learning because that was just really difficult in London I just didn't really find the time to study languages out like apart from like old and middle English but I do really hope that I can do that more this year I think for like if I want to set myself two goals that I want to accomplish before the end of the year those would be make one video in Swedish and read one like full length novel in German. I think those would be go good goals and I also feel like I should be able to accomplish that. That's not too difficult. I'm not asking too much of myself. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do during the rest of the year. Of course, I really hope that I'll be doing much, but I just don't know if that's realistic because as I said, university starting again, I'm starting an internship and I, I just don't know how much time I'll have 
to study for other things. But I'd be curious to hear if you accomplish your summer goals, uh, if you have any goals for the rest of the year, and maybe I'll see you in my next video. Bye!